one other thing that has surprised me uh, is um, how friendly this administration is being to India's Narendra Modi, the leader mm -hmm. of India. Mm -hmm. Now, the, the COVID stuff, I get, you know, I mean, that's a public health issue. You want to help India bring down this terrible, terrible affliction there. I understand that. But if this started before that, you know, they, the Biden administration mentioned India specifically as one of the countries they want to very much deepen the partnership with in their interim strategic document that they put out about their national security strategy. Um, they have had so many calls, so many interactions with uh, India. And why am I surprised? Because India is sliding backward uh, when it comes to human rights and democracy under Modi. Uh, Freedom House recently, you know, basically pulled it down. I mean, it just, they basically lowered it on its rankings of freedom in India. And so, and a lot of things are happening in India in terms of human rights that are the same things that we criticize China for, you know, when it comes to religious freedom, treatment of Muslims, that sort of thing. And so, but this administration, you know, they are just, I, I think they've made the calculation that India is simply too important a partner just geopolitically when it comes to facing off against China, that they're going to overlook some of the other stuff um, when it comes to democracy and human rights. And they will tell you, well, look, we always bring up democracy and human rights. We always talk about it. But, you know, that's the other thing that I'm going to eventually have to write about at some point when it comes to this administration, mm -hmm. which is, how much of their human rights and democracy talk is just talk and how much of it is going to be genuine action to make a difference on the ground. My guess is that a lot of it's going to be just talk. Mm -hmm.